All right, YouTube, here we go. I'll give you the rundown with this crack issue I had. This cylinder was filled up, I don't know, maybe this far. From here down, all the way around, both sides, with mud. And pretty much what happened was the mud collects water. And you know what happens to water when it freezes. So that's why we have a big crack here. I've spent probably two weeks scraping and blowing dirt and mud out of there. It's like concrete. But we got her pretty much cleaned out down below this level now. I still got a lot more cleaning to do. But it's time to start working on the crack issue. So this is the plan. It's already started. Start right there at the crack. Close to the front of the crack. As you can see I drilled it. And tapped it. So I'll take these little bolts. These are quarter inch fine thread bolts. So I drill it, I tap it, put some green Loctite on it, and I tighten them up until it tightens up against that shoulder. See there's a little bit of a taper. It's hard to tell with this camera, but there's a little bit of a taper there on the shoulder of that bolt. And I'll probably cut some of that thread off because it doesn't need to be that long. So you ram that in there until it's tight and that taper <coughs> will kind of pull that cast together as it tightens up. And that's it. Tighten it up the best you can. Cut the head of it off. Peen the living crap out of it until it, till it becomes part of the metal and then you go down the crack just keep going keep jumping around back and forth i'll probably i'm going to grind all this stuff off of here and you just keep working your way zigzagging back and forth until this will all be filled in with them little quarter inch these are just grade i don't know grade five they're pretty soft so you just cut them off paint them over lock tight them Keep going back and forth, and then once you get that row filled in, you go back in between the bolts and start drilling and tapping again. So there won't be, there's no way for them to come out of there once you're done. It's there forever. And this is a thermal siphon cooling system. There's no pressure on it. It's basically got to hold water, which ain't real hard to do. So I will start drilling, tapping, and I'll check back in with you here in another month or so, see how far I made it, but this ain't no quick lightning round here, that's for sure. I'll be drilling and tapping here for the next month at least, and hopefully as I work my way towards where this is really broke apart, them shoulders will kind of pull that back in. I don't have no clamps or nothing that'll go around that. I mean, it's all, it's pretty heavy cast, so there's not much luck at trying to pull that back to where it is, where it's supposed to be. Basically, the, them shoulders will kind of suck that all back in, hopefully. That's my plan. If not, well, we'll, do, we'll try something else. We'll see you next time.